A very common infection that most people will get at some point in their lifetime is a candida infection. Unfortunately, most people don't even know that they have it. You'll walk around with symptoms like itchy skin, rashes, or even bloating, but you'll never identify the problem appropriately. So in this video, we're gonna help you identify the warning signs of a candida infection, but most importantly, teach you how to overcome them. Now, though there's many type of candidas, the most common candida infection people get is the candida albicans. Now, the candida albicans can cause a lot of problems in your overall health. And so let's first look at some of the warning signs. We'll talk about you know, maybe how they start and then also how they can progress if it gets really bad. First, let's look at sinus infections. So many people get sinus infections throughout the year. Now, if you're getting reoccurring sinus infections that don't seem to go away, you certainly want to start to correlate it with a potential candida infection. The other thing you want to look out for is nail fungal infections. Now you'll know if this is happening. Your nail typically gets cloudy, kind of gross looking, and it's a common, common sign of a candida infection. A lot of times it's pretty bad at that point. So you definitely want to be going to your doctor to check this out or take it seriously using the exact methods that I'm about to share with you in this video. Now, the other thing that will happen, and this is common, very common, is skin rashes, okay? I've actually had this myself because I went through rounds and rounds of antibiotics as a child, which totally screwed up my gut health. And so what happens, you'll typically get skin rashes in moist areas, okay? It may be around your eyes. It also can be in your armpits or even more private areas. And so you wanna make sure that if you're getting rashes and they just keep reoccurring, you don't know why it's happening, then a candida infection is something you're certainly considering. Now, another one is bloating, okay? Now, bloating is common, but I want to say too that it's just kind of a whole host of digestive issues. If you're somebody who has gas and diarrhea and cramps and nausea, then there's a good chance that this candida problem could be within your gut and you want to get it solved because if it's in your gut, it can go throughout your entire body. It can even get in your bloodstream, cause a lot of problems. Now, if you're somebody who is tired and fatigued all the time, this is also a very common sign of a candida infection. If you're getting UTIs, okay, this is something that you want to watch out for. The candida infections can cause these. Typically, if you're getting reoccurring UTIs, it's even more of a sign that you have a candida issue. Now, let's look at itching of the skin, okay? So, if you're somebody who walks around and you notice your skin is itchy, and I'm not talking about like itchiness that you might get from some dry skin, but you know, your skin is constantly itching and then you even get itching in a lot of private areas, this is also something that you want to really take seriously and you'll know if this is happening, trust me. Next is gonna be joint pain, okay? So what happens is this candida actually gets into the joints and it causes an arthritic type of pain. In fact, it actually can even lead to arthritis down the road if you aren't taking care of it. And unfortunately, like I mentioned before, a lot of people have these candida infections show up and they don't do anything about it because they don't know what's happening. It's like, oh, some minor symptoms, no worries. Okay, so a little bit of itching of the skin, a little bit of of bloating and then it just kind of blows up and once you get this candida infection and it gets pretty bad i can tell you beyond shadow of a doubt they can be very hard to get rid of now let's also talk about a very common symptom and that's white spots that develop on the tongue or in the mouth or in the back of the throat you'll typically see these as well if somebody's dealing with some candida problems now you don't have to have all of these to have a candida infection you can certainly have just one or two of them and still have a pretty strong infection that you need to work on overcoming. One of the common questions I get all the time is how in the world does this happen, okay? And it's a really good question. People ask me this about their health problems and it's like, well, I, a lot of times I don't know, right? It's very difficult to try to pinpoint why something's happening. However, we always wanna just try to fix the issue. But sometimes it can be kind of obvious, okay? So I'd say one of the very common reasons that this happens is due to antibiotics. I mentioned this being a problem that I dealt with. I dealt with ear infections as a child for many, many years and I'd probably been on antibiotics over 15 times in my life, never as an adult when I knew better, but certainly as a child and just, you know, getting the, the health care that my doctor would recommend for me um, and, and recommended for me through my parents, basically, uh, I went on tons of antibiotics. So essentially, I ended up with candida infections as a result. And the reason for this is because one of the things that protects you from these infections is the good, healthy 
bacteria within your gut. Well, when you take antibiotics, it kills off these bacteria and you have a real problem. It's estimated that just taking antibiotics once in your lifetime is enough to disrupt your microbiome forever. So antibiotics is a big one. Another one is stress. So if you have a lot of stress and reoccurring chronic stress in your life, this can drive you to the infection. Birth control, so women who are taking birth control, this is a problem that can actually cause it. Someone who is eating a lot of sugar and a lot of carbohydrates, okay? If your diet's high in sugar, high in carbs, then it also can lead to the infection. So, and this is gonna be one of the keys we talk about in just a moment. Like if you want to get rid of this infection, you gotta change your diet. You gotta get rid of the sugar and the carbs because you are feeding the infection if you are consuming this continually. Next is a weakened immune system, okay? So a lot of people will have a weak immune system for so many reasons out there due to metabolic disorders or you name it a weak immune system allows for these opportunistic funguses and bacteria to come in and take advantage in your body and just widespread infection all over the place. So we wanna make sure that we're keeping our immune system strong at all costs. So what do we do about this? Now, there's a couple things to consider here, okay? Because clinically, this is what we would do. We would definitely use a supplement, okay? We'd use two supplements. Now, one of them we'd use is called Microbe Cleanse. And microbe cleanse is basically a mixture of many different things that kills off candida. Some of the ingredients include olive leaf extract, turmeric, ginger, caprylic acid, and oregano. These are very powerful at killing off the candida. And I'll put a link in the description below to a formula called micro cleanse that we use clinically. Now we would use that, but we would also use a probiotic, okay? So we use a probiotic that is going to help balance out the microbiome. And like I mentioned before, if you actually strengthen the microbiome, what you'll find is that this candida cannot survive because the bacteria is going to fight it off. So we wanna make sure that we're at least using those two things, okay? Because when we work on these issues clinically, like we have to get results and get them quickly. Nobody wants to dabble with this thing for the next six months. So those are two things we'd throw at it, okay? Now that's supplement wise, but now let's talk about lifestyle wise, because what we wanna do is really stack the, the odds in our favor here so that we can actually get some great results and overcome this issue. So some things that you could add into your diet are gonna be things like garlic, fermented foods, you know how we talked about using probiotics, but fermented foods also have lots of good probiotics in them and a good wide variety of different strains. So fermented foods is great. Also following a sugar-free diet, okay? We do not want to be feeding the candida infection and nothing feeds it like eating lots of sugar. And then also, decreasing your carbohydrate intake. A lot of people will even go on a ketogenic diet for a period of time to overcome this infection. Next thing you can use is xylitol, okay? So the sweetener that many people use on a ketogenic diet, which does not raise your blood sugar in any way, but tastes sweet, that actually is really good at killing candida as well. So you can actually start utilizing that, maybe some of your drinks, maybe a coffee, a tea, something like that, and it can be helpful. And then the other thing that you can do is use coconut oil more often because the coconut oil is one of the things that is able to go in and just be like a gentle antibacterial and antifungal. So using coconut oil is powerful too. So these are the things that we really want to do if we want to overcome a candida infection. This is something you certainly can overcome, but I'm telling you, if you let this thing get out of control, man, it's difficult to walk it back. So we want to make sure that we take action immediately. And if you listen to those different symptoms and you check many of those boxes, then it's something that you want to take seriously and, and take action on right away before it starts really destroying your body because these infections can actually be very harmful to the body if they go unfixed. Take action today. Now, I also wanna let you know that I just started a new channel on YouTube. Many people like the short videos that I used to do with the illustrations, and so I brought those back, and I think you'll really like them. We have a few new videos over there right now, so make your way on over to the channel. You can do so right here and subscribe, check out my new videos, and I'll see you over there.